get started. We will need one cup of quinoa, and for that we will also need um, water. So we will need two cups of water. And for the seasonings, I will be using um, some salt, some garlic powder, and um, some pepper. Also, you can actually add anything you want, spice it up, do anything you like. This is just my choice. After it's cooked, I will be adding um, some ingredients, and these are the ingredients. I'll add some black beans, as many as you like. It doesn't matter. And some cherry tomatoes, also as many as you want to add. And some cilantro. And for me, I cannot go without avocado. And some bell pepper. So this is what I'll be adding at the end. But before that, to cook the quinoa, we will need to rinse it very, very well before we put it into the pot and water to cook. So then we add it to the pot and uh, the water, quinoa, and the seasonings. We will close it, bring it to a high, and just uh, let it boil. After it's been boiling for already a little bit, you will go and just mix it in, mix it well, mix all the seasonings well. And um, we are going to want to cover it once again um, to just leave it uh, cooking for about 10, uh, 15 minutes, just continuous to check on it. And um, then it should be ready. So I believe this is ready after 12 minutes that I've been cooking for it. And um, this is how it would look like. Then you can just go ahead and add it to your plate, to your food, and I'll show you how I do it. Okay, so this is the way I do it. I actually put my quinoa in a bowl with some of the ingredients just to make a nice shape uh, so it can look nice in the plate. Uh, also, I did a little dent in the middle just so I can add the ingredients there. It's just so the plate can look nice, and in this case, I'm actually putting the beans there. Uh, you can put anything you want. And for quinoa, that's a good thing. You can add any ingredients that you want. Uh, you can add any fruits, vegetables, uh, any spices you want to add afterwards, salsa, anything you want. In this case, these are just my choices, and I'm also going to put the cherry tomatoes around the plate just so it can give a little nice look to the plate. And um, the avocado, uh, I guess everyone has their way of cutting it. My way of cutting it is I cut it on the avocado peel and then I'll just scoop it out of there and put it in uh, the salad or whatever I'm doing. And it comes out really nice. So this is how I do it. I really hope uh, you like it and you give it a try. And if you did like uh, this, video this recipe go ahead and get it a like also subscribe and uh, yes as well share this video thank you very much for watching and I hope you really enjoyed this recipe